Let's face it, iPhones are great, but absolutely everybody has one. So if you want something a little special, something that's maybe gonna stand out from the crowd, you've gotta look somewhere else from Apple these days. The good news is the phone I have in this box is the phone Apple wishes it was ready to make. This is the phone that's gonna make iPhone owners around you seething with jealousy. So what phone's in this box? Let's find out. In case you couldn't guess, this is the phone I was talking about. The Galaxy Z Flip 3, or Z Flip 3 if you prefer. Sorry, I'm British, you're gonna have to deal with it. This is the latest foldable phone from Samsung, and it really is something special. There's no such thing as a foldable iPhone. Yes, everyone wants a foldable iPhone. Everyone expects there will eventually be a foldable iPhone. But until then, Samsung is the company making phones that fold the best and actually shipping them worldwide, unlike a couple of the other Chinese competitors in the space. Foldable phones are a gimmick though, right? No one needs a foldable. It's not reliable. They're just not as good. The screens are rubbish. Sure, that was the case a couple years ago. Anyone who wanted to buy the first Z Fold, even the first Z Flip, they were taking a chance. They were doing that kind of risky early adopter thing. That's just not the case anymore. The Z Flip 3 is absolutely a finished, final, competitive flagship phone that can stand its own against any Android rival and even against this year's iPhone 13 models. For one thing, there's the price. It's now only, and I say only, but bear with me, only $999. Yeah, that's not cheap, I know, but this thing used to be $1,400. So that's a huge drop in price. All of a sudden, this is around the same price as an iPhone 13 Pro. That means it's reasonable for a high-end flagship. What are you getting for that $999? Well, for one, you're getting this whole new design, completely reimagined by Samsung after its first gen. The core hardware, the shape, that sort of clamshell foldable, that stayed the same but we've got a whole new set of colors, including this cream finish. And in fact, you can now customize these colors online to make it a bespoke version of the Z Flip that suits your exact tastes or those of someone you want to gift one to. We've also got a much bigger cover display, which is this little outer bit. You can now use it to check notifications, but also to access widgets, music controls, set alarms and timers, check the weather, even respond to messages. All of that without opening the phone. Once you do open it and you want to use it, you've got a Snapdragon 888 5G chipset. That is the second best chipset on the market right now from Qualcomm. And the better one is the 888 Plus, and there's really about that much in it. If you go for the cheaper model, the $1,000 one, you're going to get that paired with 8 gig of RAM and 128 gig of storage, but you can double the storage if you don't mind spending a little extra. In addition to that, you're getting lots of those little flagship features you would expect from a phone this price, but didn't always get with foldables. For one, there's wireless charging, which is a mercy because admittedly the regular charging is a little slow at only 15 watts, but still, that's about what iPhones do anyway. The bigger change this year is waterproofing. The Galaxy Z Flip 3 has an IPX8 rating, which means it's not dust protected, which kind of makes sense given that little hinge we've got going on there, but it is waterproof. I don't know how they made a foldable phone waterproof, but they did, and kudos to Samsung for figuring it out. The hinge itself is also pretty sturdy because I know that's a big problem people are going to have. In fact, this one I'm holding right here, I already managed to drop once while I took it on holiday. And yeah, it took a little dent, but it kept on ticking. This thing is working fine. The hinge still moves flawlessly. This is a sturdy phone and it's a lot tougher than you might think a foldable phone would be. This isn't that kind of fragile phone you really have to baby around. And the glass on the outside is Gorilla Glass Victor, so that's tough too. And it should stand up to scratches and drops. So, if Samsung has fixed all of this, are there any drawbacks to the Z Flip? I mean, other than the price, yeah, there are admittedly a couple. The battery life isn't phenomenal. It will last a day, but not a lot longer. So you've got to be comfortable with that. This is not a phone for power users. There's also the camera. The camera here is good, but it's not great. If you're spending $1,000 on a phone, yeah, you could go buy one with a better camera. And, and yeah, I'll admit, the iPhone 13 Pro Max at about the same price does have a better camera. The 13 Pro Max doesn't do this. 
and it doesn't do this. So I'm not sure why you'd want that over this phone. I don't want that over this phone. I test almost every phone that comes out in a given year. I have cupboards swimming with smartphones. I am inundated with phones. And this, more than any phone that's come out in 2021, is the one that I want to use every day. This is the phone that I love, and this is the phone that I think you will love. <laughs>